Hi, I'm Tasman Offley, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a sensitive skin body lotion using a few really cool actives. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so I have my phase A ingredients here and to this I'm gonna add a humectant. So I'm gonna use the Hydrolyte 5 Green. Now with a product for sensitive skin, you do wanna use a little bit more than normal with your humectant. So I'm gonna add a little bit more than usual and I'm just gonna give that a stir. Now to put this together, I am gonna make a polymeric emulsion here. So I'm gonna be using a polymeric emulsifier and for those of you who don't know what they are, it's an emulsifier but also a really cheap modifier and they're generally cold processable so I'm not gonna to have to use any heat today. So I'm going in with the Sepi Plus S here from Sepic and then to this I'm gonna add all my lipids here. So also with a product for sensitive skin, if you're making emulsion, you do wanna use a little bit more than normal of your lipid input, so just a bit more than 10% usually. So I'm gonna start here with the Miglayol Cocoa 810 by Oleo Chemical. This is gonna give it a nice light skin feel. You don't wanna to be too greasy or too heavy. I'm gonna add just a small input of avocado oil. Avocado oil is really good for dry skin. So if you have sensitive skin accompanied with dry skin, that's perfect for that. I'm also gonna go in with the Bioli Amber Orange Plant Oil as well. This is gonna give it a really nice, light orange, vibrant color. And then I'm also gonna go in with the Sedgesoft PFO by BASF. This has got a medium skin feel, so it's gonna give really good emolliency, but nothing too heavy or too greasy. So I'm just gonna give that a stir until it's all homogenous, and then you will be able to see the magic come together when I pour it into the water face. Okay, so that's looking quite homogenous now, so I'm gonna add that into my water face. And now you'll be able to see the magic happens. So it looks like I've literally just cracked an egg in some water here. So I'm gonna give that a mix. And it starts to go a little bit lumpy and separated looking, a bit like what you get when you have waxy water. And then you see this nice, beautiful emulsion start to form. This is what I love about polymeric emulsifiers. They're minimal, because you don't have to add, you know, your emulsifiers and you really humidify separate. It's an all-in-one and they're cold processable. Now, moving on to my actives here. Now, I am gonna be using the Defensil range here from Run Cosmetic Actives. I'm including three here because they all do different things for sensitive skin. So first thing I'm gonna add here is the Defensil. So this reduces the cutaneous hyperreactivity by 64%. It also imparts immediate soothing by 35%. It effectively regenerates the skin barrier, which is very important when you have sensitive skin, especially if it's dry and damaged. It also helps to protect the epidermal stem cells and also reduces inflammatory reactions when it comes to sensitive skin. So I'm gonna add that one in there. Now the next one I'm gonna be using is the Defensil Plus. So this one improves quality of life for people with atopic skin. It corrects the characteristics of the coporous and also protects and regenerates damaged skin barrier. It soothes the skin after mosquito bites and also soothes the skin after shaving and epilation. And the last one here I'm using is the Defensil Soft. This one here reduces the neurogenic inflammation, reduces skin discomfort by up to 100% within minutes. It also increases the overall tolerance of the skin to irritants. Uh, it protects normal and sensitive skin against IR related stress, reduces the micro circulation by 135% and the skin reddening by 90%. And also prevents sensitization of the TRPV1 receptor by blocking the uh, serotonin receptors. So how awesome is that honestly um, and all of them are china compliant they're also halal compliant and natural as well so i think a really good combo there of actives as they all do different things and target different things when you have sensitive skin so i think using all of them there is quite beneficial 
And then I'm gonna go and add my preservative and then a bit of antioxidant also. Okay, and last but not least, I'm gonna go with my pH meter and check adjust the pH. Um, so once again, this is gonna be quite a neutral pH, which is actually pretty much dead on. Yep. Don't you love that? <laughs> Alrighty, so at the moment, it's looking very beautiful and glossy. It's got quite good flow there for a lotion. Um, but as always, I'm gonna cover that and leave that overnight just to make sure it's nice and stable, it doesn't separate. And also to check the viscosity the next day as they often do change. So we'll come back tomorrow and check that one. Okay, so this is what my moisturizer or lotion is looking like the next day. It's still held up really nicely. The viscosity is also still really good. And that beautiful orange color is just stunning. And as you can see, it's beautiful and glossy. I love a good glossy emulsion. It's got really good spread there. Feels nice and soft and emollient as well. It's not too heavy, not too greasy, but still feels like it's moisturizing the skin. It's looking really good. I've got really dry skin on my other hand, so it's looking really, really good compared to my other one. <laughs> nice and glossy and plump. That's what you want from a moisturizer. Well, there you go. That's how super easy it is to make a sensitive skin moisturizer. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.